wake turbulence consists of two vortices departing from the wingtips, which can be stabilised following aircraft. A vortex encounter can be very dangerous, and regulations throughout the world have been established to avoid the risk. During takeoffs and landings, aircraft are separated to avoid wake turbulence. But if we can see the invisible wake turbulence, separating distances may be able to be reduced to streamline airport landing procedures. The only device which can see wake turbulence at the moment is the LIDAR, like this one installed at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. It's another initiative of Eurocontrol's airport programme. LIDAR is a bit like a hospital scanner. It focuses on aircraft's wake turbulence. It shows that when prevailing winds are relatively strong, 15 to 20 kilometers per hour or more, it's safe to assume that wake turbulence degrades quite quickly. That would make it possible to revise separation distances between aircraft while ensuring that safety isn't compromised. I believe there we have the potential for a significant increase in capacity at airports. In simple terms, on many occasions, I believe we're over-separating aircraft. And I think now we have the opportunity to put aircraft close together in a very safe fashion, uh, which takes account of the actual weather conditions. With the coming of the Airbus A380, wake turbulence becomes a major consideration in the adaptation of airports to very large aircraft because they create bigger vortices and require greater separation. Several European airports are ready to welcome the new Super Jumbo, which is able to carry up to 850 passengers. Gate design as well as ramp vehicles have to be tailored to the new two-deck configuration and huge dimensions of the aircraft. It's just one of several challenges facing airports in coming years. Perhaps one of the biggest is what environmental impact these super jumbos will have. But that's another fly story.